A horse met with a handgun. This was no Wild West reenactment. This is downtown St. Louis and only News 4 is showing you this video tonight. I want to thank you for joining us. I'm Corey Stark and I'm Lauren Traeger. That video is from right outside of Ballpark Village and it's a St. Louis police officer who drew his gun on the rider. News 4's Russell Kinsall is at Ballpark Village tonight. Russell, you just got some brand new information from police on this. Yeah, I've asked the police department to give me details on what happened. All they would say tonight is that they're aware of the incident and an internal investigation is ongoing. Look over my sh This is called the Together Credit Union Plaza. It's on the south side of Ballpark Village. The guy on the horse was up there by the buildings and apparently refusing to leave the property. So here's what we found out through sources and from watching the video. It's not every day you see a horse being ridden on the property of Ballpark Village. The rider was bare chested but not riding bareback. So I think it's crazy. <laughs> crazy, yeah. Crazy turned concerning real quick. Apparently, an officer told the rider to leave the property of Ballpark Village, but he refused. Watch as the officer comes back, and then the rider turns the horse toward him. The officer pulls a gun and then points it at the man on the horse. We showed the video to some customers at Ballpark Village tonight. It is concerning. A um, little bit crazy. Um, curious how the horse got into the city. I'm curious where the horse came from and, uh, you know, how they let him get that close before anything ever happened. You know, that's that's strange. The officer then tries to pull the man off the horse, presumably to arrest him. But the rider resists. The officer again pulls his gun and eventually gets the rider off the horse. It's just another kind of crazy person out there. But it also is concerned when you see the police reaction to that as well. It seems like he could handle that in a little bit calmer way. We've learned the officer had cause for concern. Sources tell News 4 the man on the horse had a handgun on his hip. After a brief struggle, the suspect runs off on foot with the horse behind him. A bizarre sight for the bystanders that night and those watching the video tonight. I live in Houston, so horses, not that uncommon, but not in St. Louis. Since it appears no one was hurt, the video is producing some funny reactions. It's just not something you see at Wrigley, I guess is what I would say. You know, I'm, I'm a Cubs fan. Police not saying whether or not they eventually corralled the suspect and what happened to the horse. All of this could have been avoided if the guy had just kept his horse on the sidewalk. I checked and found out in St. Louis there is no law that says you can't ride a horse on a sidewalk. Live at Ballpark Village, Russell Kinsall, News 4.